Today, I'll show you how I built this beautiful smooth parallax effect with videos for my website where the earth rotates and the text travels through the moon layer like this. And overall, it feels amazing scrolling through this. And yes, we also have a space theme video background with a tiny astronaut floating around. I'll show you how to make this in the free version of Elementor, not Elementor Pro, and we won't use any plugin for this. We will paste a little bit of code that I've already added to that description, along with a JSON file, so you can easily import this and create the design. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything you need to make your site look super cool like this. And don't worry, it's actually really easy. I'll be right here to guide you through each step so that you can follow along without any hassle. Okay, to start with the design, we need to add a background. So, choose a container like this. Set the container width to full width, and adjust the minimum height of the container to around 150 VH. This gives enough space for the parallax effect. Now, let's add the video background. Head over to the Style tab, and click on the Background Video option. We need to add a video link here, so I'll just copy that from the Media Library, like this, and paste it here. Let's give the video a background overlay to darken the colors a bit, making the text or other elements more clear. Moving on, we'll need to tweak the padding. To do that, go to the advanced settings and remove all padding to make sure the video covers the entire container without any gaps on the side. All right, let's add the earth rotation video. But before we do that, there's something important to consider. Adding a bunch of high resolution images and videos to your site can really slow things down. And honestly, we all know that you'll have to convert them to the WebP and WebM format before uploading them to your site. This can take a lot of time. So I've got a much easier solution. My team created a free tool called Airlift. You just need to add your URL and it'll automatically optimize every video and image on your site. It even resizes them perfectly for mobile or tablets. This way your site will load fast, even if you have a bunch of videos for the parallax effect to work. So try it out and let me know what you think. Okay, let's add the video now. This time I'll drag in a video widget and instead of using an external link, I'll change the video source to self-hosted. I've already uploaded the video file, so I'll just select this and done. Let's activate autoplay play on the mobile option, and mute the video. And you can play around with the other settings as per your preferences. Next, head back to advanced and set the video's position to absolute. Adjust the horizontal offset so it sits exactly where you want it, floating on the page. As you can see, this has a black background, which we need to make transparent. So go here, add the CSS class as parallax-spaceship, and go back to style and disable the player controls. I know the background is still black, but we'll add a code later that will make it transparent. Just keep in mind that the original video has a transparent background. It's just that Elemental won't show it unless we add the code. Okay, now let's add the asteroid. I'll drop in an image widget and change the image like this. But you can make it anything like a planet, spacecraft, or anything that fits your theme. Now set its position to absolute with horizontal orientation set to the right and vertical orientation set to the bottom. I'll quickly adjust the offset values until the image sits perfectly. Then the Z index should be set to around 3 as this keeps it behind other elements, giving some depth effect. Next assign it a CSS class as parallax-asteroid2. Now that we have our background elements in place, it's time to add the text that will travel through the entire page. To do that, let's add a heading widget like this. I'll add some text and quickly edit it. Once done, it should look like this. To ensure the heading doesn't overlap with other elements, go to Advanced, give it a negative top margin like this, and set the Z index to 10. This keeps it in the front so it's clearly visible over other elements. Also, let's add the CSS class, and I'll call this parallax-heading. Okay, now I want to add the moon surface layer with the rover. So let's add an image widget here. I'll choose this image, set the resolution to full, go to advanced, and set the position to absolute. Let's set the vertical orientation to the bottom, 
and change the Z index to 30. Now let's add another image widget for the rover and change its size to this. I'll change its position to absolute and adjust the vertical orientation and offset values. Set the Z index to 50 to bring it to the front and assign a CSS class as parallax rover. Once that's done, let's add in the code to make all the effects work. So let's go to the widgets panel and add an HTML widget. I'll add this code, which you can get from the description box below. And as you can see, the video background is now transparent, the asteroid is moving side to side, and the rover is also moving on the surface. Really cool, right? Okay, let's complete the design now. I'll add another container, adjusting the content width and minimum height to 130 VH. I'll repeat the same steps for adding the video background link and image adjustments as before. I've also set the moon surface layer as a mirror image so it feels like the text travels through it and then into the next section. Let's also set negative top margins where necessary and set the correct Z indexes. For this bottom layer, let's use parallax-astronaut as the CSS class for the astronaut image and parallax-asteroid3 for the asteroid image. Finally, I'll also add a button and style all of these quickly. Everything is now done, so let's update the changes and preview the page. And yes, the parallax scroll with the videos is working just fine. As you can see, I've made the effect I showed earlier with the earth rotating and the different videos. If you want to create a different style, just make sure to follow the same steps and use different elements for the design. I'll also leave all the assets for this design in the description below so you can use them and make something similar quite easily. Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.